Here at the Great Caravan Motorhome and Holiday Home Show in Yorkshire, there are plenty of new for 2025 models to see. It's the first public showing of many of the new caravans, motorhomes and camper vans from the UK's big name manufacturers all in one place. Now, all leisure vehicles here are NCC approved, so you know the conversion will meet some exacting standards. I'm going to take a look at some of the new models here, and in this video we'll also share footage captured by the wider magazine team at the individual manufacturer launches over the summer months to give you a full picture of what's new for 2025. On Swiss stand, the new motorhomes include the Trekker XL, which is on the long wheelbase version of the Ford Transit high top. It's like the Trekker X we've seen before, but the XL has a rear lounge layout. There are a couple of new layouts in the 6.1 meter long Voyager range, which is currently Swift's bestseller. The 510 is here and it's a four berth model with a spacious rear washroom. If you're heading to the Caravan and Motorhome Show at Birmingham's NEC this October, you'll also be able to see the two berth form, the 505. Both models have the fixed table that drops at the press of a button when you're ready to lower the bed for the night. And the final new motorhome from Swift is the Carrera 244. This is a four berth and four traveling seat pop top panel van conversion on a Fiat base. There's parallel seating in the rear and a dinette up front with a small washroom and a kitchen in between. Bailey has a full range of its new caravans and motorhomes here on show too. You can see our review of the Unicorn Deluxe Cabrera in October's magazine. This twin axle sibling, the Pamplona, is even more spacious so you get enough length for an adult sized single bed at the front too. Now if you want yet more space, the Alcanto Deluxe could fit the bill. It's an extra wide unicorn in many ways and the new colours and styling are very smart. On the motorhome side, the Adamo has been completely reworked for the new season. You can see our review of the all new 62 two berth in September magazine, but there are new furnishings and updates on all the models. I particularly like the 75 Ford DL with its two spacious living areas. And you don't even have to make up any of the beds at night as they drop down from the roof, both back and front of the van. Now this year, Bailey has removed the substantial table from the cab end, which makes it much easier to move around this motorhome too. Owen Heimer Group's luxury caravan brand Buccaneer sees mainly cosmetic upgrades this year. The new exterior graphics have gold flourishes, the furnishings have quilting and leatherette trim and the bedrooms boast larger headboards than before. Eldis's top-selling Avante caravan range is completely overhauled for the new season. There are new squared-off windows at the front and Halo Tech one-piece wall construction so they now match the Buccaneer and Crusader caravans. There's a new two-berth Avante 520 layout, featuring a large rear washroom. The mid-range Affinity models see similar upgrades to the Avante, though with darker wood cabinet fronts, Aldi heating and a new wide skylight. The 2025 Crusader is being produced in a limited edition form as part of the brand's 60th anniversary range. If you get one, you'll find some celebratory goodies inside, including a framed poster and a bottle of champagne or non-alcoholic alternative. Erwin Heimer Group's entry-level caravan and campervan range Explore will see a complete rebrand for 2025 with an adventure theme. There will be three layouts of Explore caravans with graphics matching the Explore campervan, the CVX8. Over at Coachman Caravans, the lead-in Acadia range has grown to five models for 2025. There are now just two Acadia Extra models, denoting eight foot wide bodies. Two new layouts are the 460 that we reviewed in our September magazine and the 675 Extra. The VIP lineup goes largely unchanged while Laser becomes a single range comprising six models, all now titled Extra, meaning they too have eight foot wide bodies. The Premium Lusso range does see changes, not least the addition of an all new layout, the Lusso 3. It's an 8 foot wide twin axle model with twin single beds and a massive end washroom. And finally, caravans from Swift Group. The big news is the launch of the Sprite exclusive range. It replaces the various special edition Sprite models previously produced for selected dealers up and down the country. Check out our review of the Sprite Major 6 TD exclusive in our November issue. 
Sprite and Sprite Grande continue with minor cosmetic tweaks here and elsewhere across Swift's lineup. For example, Elegance Grande sees champagne graphics and 17 inch alloy wheels, Challenger gets thicker work tops, and Challenger Exclusive sees new extractor fans, while Basecamp moves from orange to blue bags for its interior overhead storage. <laughs> 